out walking fields this morning looking at my clover here that I frost seeded back in March. It's looking pretty good. This was seeded at 13 pounds an acre. It's been a week since we cut the wheat. It's really starting to pop through and look good. I'll walk over here and show you guys the corn. It's been about two weeks since I cultivated it the last time. It's looking really good. The leaves are right at about head high right now. We've got several rains since then, but not a whole lot of, um, not, a, not a big amount. Just a few tents here and there. It'd be nice to get a, a real good rain to really make this corn keep growing and and get to tassel so I do have some thistles here just couldn't get those out with the cultivator but I'm really happy with it there's not a lot of weeds just patches And you'll get to areas like this where it's really clean. So the thistles aren't everywhere, just in patches. Like I said, it's about head high, maybe a little taller. So it'll be tasseling here in probably another week or so. I do have a few places where velvet leaf is popping up, but for the most part, they're really clean. It's been a couple weeks since these were cultivated as well. I try and spend a few minutes a day, not a long time, but just maybe 20 minutes, half an hour every day trying to walk them and just pull what I can. There's only so much you can do, but every weed you pull will be one less that goes to seed. I'm gonna head over to the shop now and start cleaning the bean planter up. I usually like to get them cleaned up fairly quickly after planting, but with organic crops, management just takes a little more time on this side of things.
Well guys, it's lunchtime. I'm gonna go grab a bite to eat and then we'll start cleaning this out after lunch. We try and clean this out as best we can. Uh, rodents and moisture getting in places where there are seed, not a good mix, just makes a mess. This is our dedicated bean planter on the conventional side. 15 inch rows is what we plant our soybeans in. It can plant 30 inch rows. These split rows just lift up and then it can become a 30 inch planter. There's a lot of argument out there whether 15 inch row soybeans yield more than 30s. Um, I really don't know which is better. We had a 15 inch row planter before we bought this one and we picked up some custom acres. So um, the guy wanted them, wanted his beans planted in 15 inch rows as well. So we just stuck with this. Seems to work really well. They can be a lot quicker than 30s, but in a conventional practice, you don't need to cultivate them like I do in organic. So it doesn't really matter. Spraying them is uh, weed control wise on the conventional side. This one can certainly plant corn, but it's our dedicated bean planter. So we run two planters at the same time, usually in the conventional side. Got the pressure washer hooked up, so we'll start washing. I got about half done. Looks pretty good. I'm pretty particular. I really like my equipment to get cleaned up. I just don't like dirt falling in my face when I'm working on stuff. So I try to get all the dirt off and get everything extra clean. Morning guys. I'm gonna work on the bean planter again this morning. Try to get it finished up today.
Well guys, I got it done. Backed it in the shop here. It's all clean. Thanks for watching guys. See you on the next one. Please subscribe and give a thumbs up.